Hi guys, Ob Dave here, and I'm Ash. Ash is back. (laughs) 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 I tripped him up. I was fighting it. I was really fighting it. I wanted to go, all right. Like I did on the last video. It was embarrassing, but. We found out that Dave likes boy bands and knows the boy bands' names and everything. Even though so. I'm just a, a, a beacon of popular culture from 20 years ago. A beacon! An appreciator of music? It's not really music. I mean, I kind of liked Busted. They were kind of fun. Oh, God. I've been to the year 3000. <sighs> <laughs> I think if you're watching from the States, you probably didn't get busted over there. They were our manufactured British pop punk band. Yeah, kind of so, like um, NSYNC. So were McF- No, nothing like that. They were a pop punk band. Yeah, they were busted. like. Busted. NSYNC were like a boy group, like a boy band. Uh, There's a difference in these things. I God. don't know. But there was McFly and there was Busted. McFly and then was years great. later, there was McBusted, where they got together and toured as one band. I thought Charlie left. Busted. I think I think it was members of each got together and did it. Uh, but it was like manufactured, horrible pop punk. I liked them. Designed at teenage girls and people who don't listen to punk music or know what it is. I liked Busted and McFly. Anyway, we're going off on a tangent. One of Donut Operator's friends, Brandon Herrera, who is a politician as well, I think. Oh, wow, okay. I'm fairly certain he ran for Senate or something. Oh, interesting. And may have won. You'll have to let me know in the comment section on that one. Cause cool. I just, all I know is what Donut was talking about it, you know, when Donut said multiple times that Brandon was running. But uh, Ash is a big fan of Demo Ranch. I am. Brandon is part of that whole crew of people. Yeah, Donut, they're good friends. Demo Ranch. Yeah. Um, there's a few others as well, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Uh, yeah. Both enjoy gun content. Yes, we do. I am this week going to reapply for my shotgun certificate as well. I know. I've got to because someone's giving up shooting that I know. They're going to give up all the guns and they're going to give them to me. But I haven't got a license at the moment. Neither of us have one at the moment. And, and they, they sort they of wanna, ran they, out. They're they expensive wanna, to maintain in the UK. But they want to be done with it. So I need to get it applied as soon as possible. In yep. this country, you've got to apply for a... A doctor's note, essentially, which is yeah. like a mental health clearing before they'll start the application process to yes. the police and stuff, which is right. I'm not against and it. And then you also have to go, uh, obviously, apply for um, permits through the police as well. Obviously. Well, that's, that's you've got to get the mental health check from your doctor, then the police which checks. then gets forwarded to the yeah. police, and then the police do checks. Yes. And uh, then the cops come around and have a chat with you and stuff. Yeah, they're they're allowed to turn up without notice as well. They, they, they're so, they don't. The they firearms don't. cops in this country are yeah. so overstretched I know. that you meet them once when you get your certificate and you've, you're unlikely to ever see them again. I know, but yeah, they're, one they're, of my friend's husband said that they did just pop up one day and they were just like, they asked the usual questions, like obviously because his wife doesn't her have a license so he was like the cop was like well do you know where the guns are she's like well yeah but i don't know where the key is and he's like well that's all that we need so as long as you can't get into the safe we're good there was um uh, i heard someone talking about a case in the uk it was someone i knew knew someone um the guy got his guns out had them on his bed but he also had the ammunition out with it and in this country you're supposed to keep ammunition and guns separate Separate. at all times all times unless you're on a range and uh, apparently there was ammo on his bed, but there was also guns that he was cleaning. Oh dear. Cops did a surprise visit, uh, went upstairs, saw it, and lost his license and lost and all not, his guns. Not instantly. surprised, yeah. Which they're, they're that strict with that they sort are, of thing. They are, they're really funny over here. Yeah, which is a bit shit, but you know. But interestingly enough, it's easier to get a shotgun license in the UK than it is to get any other um, a firearms license. You actually have a right to yeah. have a shotgun. Yeah. It's like it's, there's a different law regarding shotguns yeah. and firearms where they're not supposed to, without good reason, can't refuse you a shotgun certificate. That's it. Whereas with a firearms license, you have to be able to prove that you've got a good reason. That's it. And you have to do a certain number of hours at a shooting range and be a member of that shooting range for a certain length of time you've, to be able to You've got to log every yeah. time you shoot now. Yeah. And you've got to shoot X amount of times yeah. per year. Otherwise, this starts it laps. To, it's bad. Yeah. It's bad. But anyway, we digress massively. Testing the assassination attempt of Donald Trump. Ooh. Got to say, regardless of your politics... It was crazy, and thank God it didn't. 
Did, explode his head in front of everyone. It well, would have been a disaster. Would have been an, it's just awful. And yeah. also, nobody deserves that. You know, kids and his wife didn't deserve to experience that fear. Yeah, it, it would have been awful all around. Um, and it was an, an interesting insight into, like, how the Secret Service just let him down quite severely and his, yeah. obviously, security. I've, I've been so intrigued by it. So I've been watching loads of mm. content. I've been listening to ex-military guys that also do presidential security details yeah. and things. Maybe not presidential, but um, you know, like private security companies that CEOs hire and things like yeah. that. Yeah, I've, I've been absorbing the content as much as possible. Well, and the consensus is it was terrible. By well, the it was service. it was the fact that like my dad and I were watching stuff on it, and like like literally minutes before there were people in the crowd going, "There's a guy on the roof with a yeah, gun." Yeah, yeah. A cop went up, poked his head over, and obviously when the shooter turned his gun to him, he just went back down. Yeah, apparently there was a, like, there was an open radio. I don't know if "open" is the right terminology, but there was a radio channel for the Secret Service, the yeah. police, everyone. So you'd think that the the, the cop has radioed. Because there was two cops. There was one at the bottom of the ladder yeah. and one at the top. But something that I saw, a guy said, the cop should have shot his gun into the ground. And then the Secret Service would have gone, is that gunshots? And then yeah, would have had to do something. Because obviously there was a sniper apparently on one of the top There's of the buildings. Two. But, well, oh, two. There but he actually, wasn't allowed to fire because obviously the whole... There was two snipers on two buildings. So there was two buildings that were kind of near, near each it, other. Yeah. And there was like two snipers on each, but one of them acts as a spotter. But they're both like highly trained yeah. snipers. It's, the whole thing is nuts, but thank just, God it didn't go the way no, it could have No, absolutely. And from the sounds of it, he's very lucky to have turned his head at a certain time. So From obviously listening to a lot of Americans talk about it, it seems like the country would be burning you know, for a couple of days. If he, if he hadn't have turned his head... I've heard loads of people say it just would have been a civil war. Yeah, I'm not like surprised. It, it, would, it would have gone To off. interfere with democracy in the middle and the height of campaigning yeah. is completely non-democratic You're, and from what I've heard, a very yeah. non-American. So. You're interfering with democracy in the name of taking out a fascist. Yeah. I'm going to say, regardless of your politics, yeah, or we your don't do beliefs, politics here, but it's not shooting your a political opponent or someone you don't agree with isn't democracy, no, is it? It's not. It's exactly. like... It's completely yeah. against it. Yeah, it's, it's mad. Anyway, anyway, uh, we're going to get into it. So this is uh, Brandon Herrera testing the assassination attempt on Trump. Let's Sweet, do it. Stuart. On July 13th, 2024, an attempt was made on the life of the 45th president of the United States and potentially 47th, Donald Trump. <laughs> the thankfully failed assassin uh, fired a handful of bullets from an AR-15 off of a nearby rooftop, one of which nicking the president in his right ear. The it's Secret Service was then able to retaliate yeah. with one of their snipers, ending the threat at about 3,200 feet per second. But while this assassination attempt was unsuccessful, it started a whole host of conspiracy theories on the internet and it raised a lot of questions, really, about ballistics, amongst other things. So given that recreating historical assassinations is something that we do quite a lot on the channel, that was we figured that we might be able to shed some light on some of these subjects that are currently in heavy debate in the ballistics of the situation. Now, this is the first time we've ever tackled a situation like this where the person in question is still alive, not only still alive, but still actively running for president. But I do think we have the capability to add a lot of productive data to the conversation in an educational manner, while also giving the situation the seriousness and respect that I think it dictates. I don't know if it's true or not, but I heard someone say that Trump played golf the next day, and um, when he, he put it he turned around and said unlike the shooter i don't miss Which, uh, that if, would be that is kind of if that's theory. true that's one of yeah, the most ridiculous but sort of iconic things anyone's ever said isn't it yeah it's pretty clever it's, but it probably yeah. didn't i don't know i think there is a there's a video of him saying that but i don't know if it predates the assassination attempt and it was about something else i don't know i'm not here verifying things like that Let's see. i heard it talked about on rogan really at least as much as we're capable. I love ballistic dummies, they're so cool. So there's three main things that I want to hit, address today. First two are demonstrations to kind of dispel a lot of conspiracy theories right now. And the third is for fun. 
The first is showing how a shot like this is not only difficult to stage, but given the equipment, pretty much damn well impossible. The second is to address the internet armchair experts who think that an AR-15 is so deadly that even a shot on the ear would have been an instant kill and that it was faked with blood packets or fucking aliens, I don't know. So we're gonna replicate the shot on the ear to show exactly what happens in that situation. Now the third thing, <laughs> it's just cause I think it's really cool, we're gonna be replicating the return shot on the shooter from the Secret Service sniper rifle. Nice. We didn't have to do this, but to be honest, I like the old fashioned movies where the bad guy gets his comeuppance at the end. So I feel like it's a pretty good finale and it's gonna look hella good in slow motion. <laughs> and as always, when we do a spicier video like this, uh, my friends are more than willing to help. Bye, career. I don't know why the fuck they wanted to be a social so, but yeah. they volunteered anyway, so. I saw the fat electrician. Yeah, I'll see King Charles. Ballistic high speed. Ellie double tie. I don't know. Good letter. Uh, out of them, I only I know obviously know don't the fat know electrician. Don't know Fat electrician. Fat I, electrician should be called the jacked electrician. To be fair, I know he's pretty he's pretty, pretty bulky, isn't he? Isn't he? Yeah. I mean, donut with his skinny jeans on isn't you know. No, I know. Yeah, anyway. I've seen a few things with King Trout, but have you? Yeah. But you watch more demo ranch. I, I don't do. really watch a lot yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. Fair play. Bye, career. I don't know why the fuck they wanted to be associated with this one, but they volunteered anyway. Oh, so double tap was his name. Day. Right. Oh, right. We didn't see. The yeah. There was a, yeah. This is the AR-15. As you can tell, very effective weapon. This particular iteration is a semi-automatic civilian legal version. This one in particular is kind of more of a budget gun with an optic mounted slightly too far forward, which is exactly what it looked like the shooter had as well. Now to a competent person making a shot on a- I'm Gonna try not to pause it constantly and I do apologize, but I shot that exact gun in Vegas. Did you really? Yeah, and it was actually really boring because it's so accurate and oh, it yeah, it's supposed so, to be. like easy to shoot. That's why the military like, love them. Yeah, my bro shot the uh, the Dirty Harry gun. Nice. Uh, like, boom, you know, and all the power and stuff. And I was just there, like... Yeah. Like that, and I was like, so underwhelming, but uh, that's what's so good about that it. Is it was so accurate. So it was, reliable. It was, it was fun. We did packages at the, uh, the gun store. Yeah, the gun store in Vegas. Nice. And one of the things I shot was a shotgun as well as part of my package. What? And I'm like, you shoot shotguns I own shotguns. Yeah, at the I time, I owned shotguns. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why I did that. I, I would have gone for the obscure things like a minigun. I have always wanted to shoot a minigun. James gun. shot a belt-fed machine gun. I know, and there's me with a fucking... I shot an Uzi as well. Though, I was going to say, least, yeah, I would have gone for an Uzi. Yeah, I, I come yeah, on, yeah. a fucking Desert Eagle as well, because it's something that we've never done. Yeah. But it's like I said to you, my dream was to shoot a 50 cal, and we finally got to shoot. It wasn't It was a, It was wasn't a Barrett. What was? I can't remember the name of I it. I can't remember the name of it either. But no. it was the most exciting. And although it was a blank... It was yeah, a you can't shoot a legit 50 cal like that no, in this country. No, it was magnificent. It'll take people out five miles away. It's so exciting. A target that is man-sized at about 130, 150 yards, not that difficult. Pretty much any experienced shooter can do that on their bad day. That's also assuming that the average competent shooter has one thing that the would-be assassin did not. More muscle mass than a seventh grade cheerleader. <laughs> But now what internet experts are trying to claim is that it was an inside job, it was staged, and that, that the shooter very intentionally only hit him in the ear to, you know, boost his ratings and such. Now with the shooter using an even worse AR-15, it was like an old DPMS, which is just pretty garbage tier to be honest, and a red dot with no magnification. I'm gonna show you exactly what that shot would have looked like from the shooter's perspective, and then you can judge for yourself how easy that shot would have been to stage. So we have our stand-in ballistic dummy target here, and we are going to walk back and pace out about 130 yards. It was between, I believe, 130 to 150 yards is where the shot was taken. Sorry to interrupt. That is, that's um, Desperado Ranch. That is uh, Matt Carricker's, obviously Demo Ranch's new shooting range at oh, the it? Banded Resort that they built. Nice. Remember I told you how high the berm they built? Yeah, yeah. That's it. And you can see, you can't really see the sign at the back, but they built that sign with a whole bunch of just logs and it's from trees they cut down to widen the road. But yeah, it's, it's nice. Desper uh, Desperado Ranch. Let's go on the inside of that and do 130 just to give the most benefit of the doubt here. For context, this is approximately 130 yards. See what that looks like down the site. Wow. 
So we were just back there at like 130 yards trying to get that through the dot. Would any of you stand at 130 yards and let me take a shot on, on your ear? I wouldn't yes. let you do that at two yards. <laughs> well, that's just because you're a pussy. Because the other thing that like, <laughs> trying to explain to people on the internet, especially the experts on Twitter, they don't understand like MOA. So like when you have a, a garbage tier AR-15, that's, you know, a DPMS from fucking 15 years ago that was his dad's gun, you're doing like a two to three MOA. So three inches, let's say at 100 yards, some would say too much. Three inches at 100 yards is now at 150, that's four and a half inches difference. You know what's suspiciously four and a half inches to the left of your right ear? Yeah. yeah, look at that without head movement. There's air. <laughs> you absolutely, like this dot covered a good chunk of the head at that distance at 130. Yeah, no bipod, uh, super elevated heart rate, no magnification. So people are, a lot of people were saying like, well, yeah, you could just zoom in a scope like Call of Duty, huh? No, it's not, it's not a scope. This is not like a fucking sniper weapon. This right here is a one magnification. So it's zero mag. It's literally just looking through a piece of glass with a dot on it. So yeah, now hopefully you have a better idea of why saying that the ear shot was specifically staged using that setup at like 150 yards is just fucking stupid, frankly. But speaking of fucking stupid, there's another conspiracy theory that of course Trump was not hit by a bullet because bullets, you know, expand and they have, uh, you know, a crazy temporary cavity and it would have taken his whole head off and all sorts of shit. And he was hit by flying glass that came from fucking, I don't know, it's Twitter. So we're gonna recreate to the best of our ability the path of the bullet going through a small strip of flesh, the ear here, and show exactly what that would do to a human ear. Now, in order to actually capture the bullet as it's grazing through the ear, we would need some serious high speed, maybe even ballistic high speed. Did someone say high speed? <sighs> I don't know why they keep doing that. <laughs> why did you invite us, it's like, it's like a bit or something. I don't. So 100,000 frames per second. Nice. That should be plenty enough to catch a bullet like that because it's oh, yeah. traveling at what, 3,000 feet a second? Mm -hmm. Roughly. Yep. So this yeah. will slow down time three to 4,000 times slower than normal. Perfect. Wow. Well, let's get to it, guys. Let's, let's do it. it. Now, we don't really stuff. care about distance on this one since, I mean, the ballistics are going to be negligible. If anything, closer distance should do more damage. So if this just rips right through the ear like it did in real life, then that should definitively prove it. So. Let's, uh, I just want to make sure we get the most accurate shot possible. Firing. Did I see a jiggle? Did you? Oh, I barely clipped the ear. I clipped it right on the side, not on the top. I clipped him, uh, like, right there in the middle. We're gonna have to look for, like, a vibration. Oh, yep, there I was. It. Oh, tell you what. It's still oh, gonna hurt. Yeah. The ear. Oh yeah, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> Damn. That was like edge of the bullet. Yeah. That. I know. That was, I think we could get closer. Yes. Can you imagine, like he did, like, obviously when you don't think about it, it's like sometimes the biggest injuries, you don't, you think less about the pain than like a little paper cut. And in that moment, obviously when it, the bullet hits Trump, he does, he just sort of touches his ear, like maybe it's like a bee sting or something. It's funny when it's such an amazingly big, it's like some people, I've seen it where some people's like have broken their wrists and they don't notice until they look down. Yeah. Cause it's so sudden and it's so dr dramatic. Yeah, a lot of broken bones and stuff is panic, isn't it? You yeah. see people when they're like, they, uh, I've seen some horrific ones where people try and stand up because they don't yeah, realize they and don't then realize. the leg just folds. I've seen someone try and push the bone back in. <laughs> it's uh, horrific. Uh, <laughs> so I think he actually got hit right up here. Okay. Uh, the bullet impact was right there. You could see where it just grazed the very edge of like the middle of his ear. So, but we're right. going to try to go for the meat. Okay. What I find the most interesting is that the whole head is still there. That's yeah. kind of crazy. <laughs> I, <laughs> I thought it would have disappeared. <laughs> Firing. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think that was it. Oh yeah, that was the fucking money shot right there. That's a perfect sim there. That's where all the cartilages oh, as well. Out. I don't know, this we is crazy. I don't out. think a bullet actually hit him. Like his neck's not broken. I don't... Where did he get the glass to I'm taking ballistic out of my know. name because I clearly don't understand that. <laughs> oh, that was fucking perfect. Oh, yeah. Piercing. Yo. Dude. That's wild. What'd they say? Don't get your uh, ears pierced at Claire's? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh. Ow. Oh, 
Trump said it felt like More he got hit. And the thing is, there's no cartilage the in that ballistic stomach. Like someone kind of slapped you on yeah. the ear. I, I was just going to say, I'm actually personally surprised uh, that it had that much uh, temporary cavity, that much expansion. But notice how the head is still there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you play it all in full speed, it's like, well, that's very unfucking impressive. Right. But <laughs> I mean, everybody's making fun of his ear bandage in his speech, saying like, oh, he's wearing a big bandage for sympathy or whatever. You just saw his ear explode from <laughs> cavitation Jesus. from getting hit by a gun. Like, yeah, it looked okay because I, I know he was golfing the next day. Which talk about fucking Chad energy right there. I mean, Evander Holyfield finished the round, so I mean. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah to be fair. You <laughs> so got, uh, you know, assassination yeah. attempts at 8, but you've got a tea time at 9 a.m. Like, yeah, it's what you gonna do? A lot of people talk about how Trump turned his head at the last minute, and that's what saved his life. And it's really easy to see. Like, there's graphics and shit of it, but now that we have a, a, a ballistic dummy here, you can actually plainly see the trajectory the bullet took to go through the ear the way that it did. If his head was tilted, the way that it was before he went to go look at that graph. Just the back of his head exploding. It's hitting a it? lot of, you know, the really important lizard brain stuff that makes you, uh, you know, continue to breathe. So him turning his head at the last minute got a lot of the vital part of his brain out of the way of that bullet, which is just, I mean, talk about luck. We might be having a very different conversation had that not been the case. I think uh, that is what would qualify as too soon. Speaking of too soon, you want to gank the shooter? Oh, God, yes. So now let's talk about something that the Secret Service would have been using to take out the nameless nerd and virgin. This right here <laughs> is an Accuracy International 300 Win Mag. Accuracy International was like the Lamborghini of bolt guns as far as like not getting something stupid custom done. Very, very nice rifle. I actually, I've been shooting this setup a little bit this last couple days. Fucking amazing gun. Better be, because they're like 15 grand. Got our 300 Win Mag Spicy Boys right here. Gonna load it on up. Keep the bolts open though for now. Got a Badger Ordnance Scope Mount with a Night Force ATAC Scope. Topped off with an RRS tripod. These things are very expensive and very nice. I've never really shot with one before the last couple days, and it is amazing. It's really like cheating. Now I know how they were able to pop that shot off so quick and so accurately after the first round was fired. It's a funny story, I bought this whole setup from uh, EuroOptic and I was not paying very close attention because I knew I needed to get this video out quickly. So I was in a rush, I bought an Accuracy International bolt gun and I didn't realize I bought the wrong one. I bought one with a left-handed bolt, not super useful to a right-handed shooter like me. I called up EuroOptic, told them the situation, I got somebody on the phone in like 30 minutes, they helped me out. Not because I had a contact there, I was a random customer who spent my own money on this gun and I fucked up. Their shipping guys got it squared away right off the bat and I had it in time for the video. Then we told them what we were doing with the video and they wanted to be a part of it. So they actually ended up sending us out this tripod and nice. really just hooking us up. So we, we really appreciate EuroOptic for not only just having a great customer service experience, like genuinely it was, I was impressed, but also just for a genuinely good customer service experience and for helping us get all this stuff out here in time to film this video. So we really appreciate EuroOptic for helping us out with this. Show them some love, please. Now, uh, you want to see somebody's head pop? Yes. POV, you see this popping up over a <laughs> slanty roof. So now the fun part, we're going to replicate the shot that Secret Service took on the would-be assassin here. Not 100% clear, judging by some of the photos that I've seen, exactly where he was shot and where it exited. So I'm going to take some creative liberty. I know he was shot in the head. So now we're going to see in about 100,000 frames per second exactly what was going through his head. <laughs> he kind of looks like Harry Potter now that I think about it. Why is his teeth so straight? Yeah, <laughs> his teeth are kind of straight. And... What is that, a jaw? <laughs> this isn't accurate. <laughs> I need to kind of carve some of that away, make it a little flatter down here. Kind of concave his head in a little bit. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll do that part actually in here in a second. Yeah, I think the I think the 300 wind mag will take good care of him. Godspeed, little asshole. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take this shot. Firing, three, two, one. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> I think we hit him. Oh my wow. god. Wow. Holy shit. That is violent. That's graphic. His brain. I can't wait for the slow mo. Oh, that looks more like his jawline. Bet you won't do that again. Dude, that is the, oh, the genuinely like noise. a fucking oh. 3,200 feet per second uh, decapitation. That's, oh, he I, fell down. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> a loud noise was heard and he fell. Wait till you see this. <laughs> Based on how fucking cool it looked 150 yards away, it's gonna look pretty cool. Nice. 
nice. The slow mo stuff, is, especially it's so, shooting. Is I amazing. know the sound wave is just awesome to see. I mean, look at that, the vibrations oh. through the air, it's just unbelievable. Jesus. <laughs> it's just turns to liquid. Oh, it doesn't look just real. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> well, it looked like him at some point. Oh. That looks more like him now. Oh dear. You so you did put the glasses. Oh really? Okay, good, yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it I, was, it. I was aiming for the glasses. The the the, the yeah, left side glasses. Right here on the bridge yeah. of it. Oh, it's turning oh. his part. All the force is still pulling his oh. skull back. Oh, oh yeah, because I because I hit him technically on his right side, so he spun. Well so the death photo didn't quite look like that, but we were also using like ballistic tip shit and uh, all yeah. It ignites stuff inside of his head. Right? Yo, oh, yeah, it yeah, absolutely right. does. Oh, you wow. see flash. So that's probably the metal off of the... It's the radio the CIA was playing the message. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got him. Woo! Nice. Oh, well, I believe the president is safe. Not gonna lie, I was a little graphic. That was probably a little unnecessary. But hopefully some of the stuff that we talked about today uh, dispels a few of the myths. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of misinformation going around. A lot of people who really don't know what they're talking about, uh, weighing in and, and spreading a lot of uh, conspiracy stuff that really doesn't make sense. And you know, while stuff like this is kind of fun in a way that, you know, just I, doing science is fun, doing ballistic stuff is kind of fun. I think it does kind of go without saying that uh, the message that we're trying to get out here today is just data, trying to put right some conspiracy theories and things going around. This isn't any sort of message toward political violence. I shouldn't have to say it, but that's obviously not what we're about. That's not what we're talking about today, and that's not the point of living in the greatest country in the world. We have a constitutional republic, a representative democracy, where we're allowed to express our differences and decide together as a country at the ballot box exactly what direction we want this country to go in. That's the proper way to go about it, and if you think the alternative of taking innocent life is uh, acceptable, or if that's the thing you should do, well, that's your fate. Wow. Jesus. Anyhow, I had a lot of fun today. I appreciate the help of our friends over at Ballistic High Speed for helping us get that fucking amazing Delicious. shot. High speed footage. Delicious is a good word. I like it. But no, I appreciate you guys. <laughs> you guys fucking suck. Uh, I don't know why I invite you to shit anymore, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. I'll see you on the Unsubscribe podcast, and I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video, assuming I don't get a strike for this. I shouldn't, but that's never stopped them before. Appreciate it, guys. That was amazing. Was. Is there any no. like out? Because oh, there's oh, outcasts. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right. Would you? Would any of you let me? Uh, would fuck. Would you fuck? What the fuck does it say? <laughs> I have a bone. Oh, I have a boner RN right now. I thought it said I have a boner run. Same. <laughs> <laughs> he really likes nurses. That would have been better. <laughs> Wait, that one is slightly more threatening. <laughs> yeah, it's like kind of a veiled threat. Well, man, the media is going to have a field day with this one. Mama, I'm going to be on the news. That's what that kid thought. <laughs> right then, right then. We almost <laughs> fucked up there. I always like to check. I always yeah, like to check yeah, now. Right. But that was great. That was amazing. I love those ballistic dummies. They are so incredible. Unbelievable. Like we, we used to watch quite a lot of um, Forged in Fire. Yeah, we did. Until yeah. it sort of like went off and then maybe there was some cheating going on and things like that. It will kill. But it will kill. It's always the best bit, isn't it? It is. It will cut. Yeah. But that was incredible. I love things like that. Like when people step forward and go, we're going to put this to rest. And Brendan Herrera did. Absolutely. And... Recognised, obviously, Desperado's shooting range from yeah. uh, Matt Carricker's abandoned ranch. Or resort, sorry. I, I like what he said there, though. You know, they're, they're not endorsing political violence in any way or violence. And no. it's right. Unfortunately, we've lost Tenacious D over this. I know. So, uh, you know, and it sadly, seems big and clever to go, yeah, you know, and say something like Kyle Gass did. But when you actually stop and think about it, you're like, Jesus Christ, mate. Yeah, like someone can... actually that you wouldn't expect said it to me, you know, the same comment that he made as a joke. And I was just like, you know, I, I know a joke's a joke and like you should be able to joke about anything. But, but there's some things... I was like, it's a bit rough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. <clears throat> and it's it's just it's so against what we stand for with democracy. And it's just it's disgusting behavior. 
Yeah. Didn't. And it was sad to see that Matt Carricker's name was mentioned in one of the yeah. news reports because the shooter was wearing one of his merchandise, his shirts, his demolition r- r- shirts. It's so. a bit weird, though, isn't it? Doesn't he has a shooting stuff. show on YouTube. <laughs> and like yeah. I said, like like we discussed about it, if he was wearing Nike, it wouldn't uh, yeah. be nothing. But. Anyway, let us know what you thought of that. If you want to see more of this style content on the channel, which we both love anyway, make sure you comment below and let us know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we will see you next time. Cheers, guys. Bye, guys.